Hi guys. Happy Monday. Happy brand new week. Happy January. Happy all the things. It has been a hot minute since I have been live in this group. Um, let me just say, let me just be super vulnerable and <clears throat> honest. I have been struggling with the leadership aspect of my business. Um, I, my personal business has been running like a well-oiled machine, literally for the longest time, um, which I'm very, very, very proud of because um, I set that foundation early on. And so that's why it runs like a well-oiled machine. But my leadership on the other hand, I, I feel like I need to do a lot more with my leadership and I became complacent. I became comfortable with my leadership. Um, and I've done a lot of reflecting on it over the last month to two months. And I am making big changes. So one of the things that I am going back to doing is a planner. Okay. I actually went back and I looked at, I, so you can, if you don't know this, you can go into your sales tab or your reporting tab, then your sales tab, and then you can go to um, the year to date tab. And it'll literally tell you everything about your business. How many people, how many frontline promoters are certified? How many in your team promoters are certified? How many in your group promoters are certified? All the different levels. It'll tell you your sales. It'll tell you your, your commissions. It'll tell you your bonuses. Literally everything, okay? So I went back probably two weeks ago, and um, two or three weeks ago I looked at this, and I reviewed it, and there was a huge disconnect between when I first joined up until my last year, okay? Last year, 2021. And, um, so, oh my God, oh my God, 2022, Lord have mercy, it's 2023. And so I had to do a lot of reflecting on my part. Like why, why have I only sponsored nine people this year? Okay. For, well, in 2022, why did I only sponsor nine people compared to the first year that I had joined? I sponsored, I don't remember the exact number, but it was in the thirties. I think it was like 34, 35, 36. How did I how did I drop that low? Right? And the ultimate question or the ultimate answer and question to my hold on. Okay. Sorry. Um the ultimate question to myself is why why did I have such a huge dip from when I first joined to this year? And every year it keeps declining. And I did a lot of reflection and the answer is I got comfortable, I got complacent, I got happy with my paychecks, which is great. I am happy with my paychecks, but ultimately I want more for myself and I want more for my team and for my group. And so that's a hard realization to have. That's a hard that's a hard conversation to have for, with yourself as a person and as a leader and as a business owner, it is, but you know what? It's a necessary one. And the reason why I haven't sponsored or recruited is because number one, I'm not talking about it. I'm not talking about my business like I was when I first joined or the first two to three years that I joined. I'm not talking about it like I used to. And so that changes, that changes. Katie actually messaged me this morning. I'm a part of her like frontline challenge text that I opted in for. If you are her frontline, I highly suggest you opt into it. I have one for my team as well. I have not sent out mine for um, the new year yet. And that's just because I have not edited it. Um, I actually sent my frontline probably, gosh, almost a month ago, I sent my frontline an email with a link, a Google form link to fill out. Do you guys know that I have close to 100 frontline and only nine of my frontline filled it out? Nine. Nine frontline filled it out out of my, I think I have 96 frontline. Okay. So 
that just that shows a lot. Number one, that shows that there's a disconnect between me and my front line. Um, not all of them. And I know that some people probably forgot about it because I did send it in the thick of Christmas season. So that's perfectly fine. Um, but sending out that form and, and getting such a low response to it is, there's a couple things. Like number one, what is my cat doing? Hold on. Okay, he's about to curl up and take a nap. Number one, people are busy, especially in that season. So a lot of them probably forgot. Number two, it helps me figure out who the heck wants it. So those eight to nine people that did fill it out, those are the people I'm focusing on, okay? Um, and then also, I need to do a lot of reflection on my part and ask myself, why didn't the other 90% of my frontline fill it out? I know I have a lot of hobbyists, so that could potentially be one reason, but I also have um, multiple frontline directors, and um, I don't think not many of them filled it out. I don't think any of my directors actually filled it out. So there's a lot of reflection that can be done with just sending out a Google form to your frontline, okay? Um, but ultimately, the reason why my leadership is failing is because number one, I'm not showing up. Number two, I'm not talking about the business opportunity. Those are the two things, okay? And it's not hard to open your mouth and talk, but we have to do it. So I posted in this group last week, um, I have two sayings that I am literally playing on repeat in my head this year. And both of those sayings, I can, I can use towards literally every aspect of my life, my personal life, my business, my friendships, my marriage, my everything. Okay. So the first one is just show up, just show up. Okay. And I want to explain that a little bit. Some days, obviously life is hard. Some days showing up is going to be way easier than others. For example, today, I am on fire. I'm about to go to the gym. I know what I'm doing in my planner. I have it written out. Um, I have a goal for myself today. But tomorrow might be different. Tomorrow I might wake up and I might be in one of my little funky moods. Okay? So the effort that I put in today might be different than the effort that I put in tomorrow. And that's okay because we are all human. Not every day is going to be 100%. Some days you might only be able to give 5%, but that 5% is better than 0%, right? So that's where my motto, just show up, comes into play. Um, it's going to help me get in the gym. I literally told myself this morning as I was making my bed. Um, by the way, I have been making my bed for probably three months now. There's nothing special to it. I just make sure when I get out of the bed, I pull the covers back, the sheets back, put the pillows nicely, pull my comforter back. And that has truly been a game changer in my mindset. And listen, I have never been one to make my bed. I've never been one to make my bed. But something in me has just been telling myself, because number one, everybody likes the look of a made bed, right? If you don't... Uh, I don't know why you don't, but it looks nice. It looks clean. And so I've been making my bed. And it's really weird what it's been doing to my mindset. It, it likes, it really does start my day. So if, if maybe, maybe try that if you are in like a funky funk going on, okay? Um, what was I getting at? I was talking about something before making my bed. Oh, I was making my bed today. And um, I was like, what am I going to do at the gym? What am I going to do at the gym today? And what's my goal today? And um, I totally lost like where I was going. I went on the making the bed tangent. Oh, just do it. Just do it. I was pulling back my comforter on my bed. And, um, and I was thinking to myself, like, what am I going to do in the gym today? Do I want to go to the gym? Like, I don't know. And then literally as soon as that, like, it's not a negative thought, but as soon as the thought came to my head and the question I asked myself was, do I want to go to the gym today? I literally shut it down and I just told myself, just do it. And so I'm going to the gym. And if all I do at the gym is walk on the treadmill, then so be it. But normally, 
even when I struggle to get into the gym, as soon as I get on the treadmill, I always start my gym session off on the treadmill to warm myself up. As soon as I get on the treadmill, then my motivation starts for myself, right? Because motivation is bullshit, but you have to create your own motivation. No one else can do it for you, okay? Someone might be able to motivate you one day, but ultimately, if you want motivation on a day-to-day -day basis, you're gonna have to create it for yourself. And sometimes that motivation might not start until I actually get my ass on the treadmill in the gym, and then the music starts, and then I'm like, okay, I feel good. I've been on the treadmill for 10 minutes. Let me go do my arm workout, or let me go do my leg workout, or whatever the case may be. Okay, so that's where just do it comes into play. How it comes into play for my business is when I don't feel like peopling or texting and checking up on my front line, my directors, my SDs, I am going to tell myself just do it. Okay, even if it's messaging one person or doing one coaching call, just do it. Just do it. Okay, that's my first motto. My second one is... um. My second one is, if it only takes five minutes, if it can be done in five minutes, do it now. I am notorious for letting things build up, pile up, and then once it piles up to over my head, or you know what I'm talking about, then I have a full-on panic attack, full-on anxiety attack, I'm an asshole to my husband, I'm an asshole to anybody around me because I am overwhelmed. That's with literally anything piling up let's say laundry piles up let's say scentsy boxes pile up let's say um I don't know I haven't cleaned the bathroom in a week or two that is going that mantra is literally probably my favorite one because it has helped me so much. Every night before I go to bed, I look around my house and I'm like, okay, what can be done in five minutes before I go to bed? Because when you wake up in the morning, you're gonna feel so much better. I'm applying that to my business, so that way I can look at, okay, do I have mail outs to do? Instead of letting them pile up a month, a month's worth of mail outs, why don't I just do five minutes at a time? In five minutes, I can probably get five mail outs done. Okay, so those are the two mantras, three, those are the two mantras I'm living by in 2023. And so far, they've literally been on repeat, guys. Anytime that I have either a negative thought go through my head or just something that's like trying to prevent me from doing something that I know would be either good for me or make me feel better, I'm just going to do it. Replaying it and I'm going to get it done. Okay, so. If you have not done, if you have not done any reflecting um, from when you started to where you are now, I highly suggest you do it. Um, sometimes it sucks to reflect. Sometimes you might be in a different position and you might be reflecting from when you first joined and where you are now and be like, wow, I have grown so much. And that's absolutely great and it's going to make you feel so good but you know what there's going to come a time in your business i don't care how long you've been a consultant there's going to come a time where you're you're going to reflect and you're like wow i'm the problem i'm the problem i am the reason why i'm not seeing growth i am the reason why my team isn't growing i am the reason why my group isn't growing okay so you have to have that reflection in order to grow. And so if you haven't done it yet for last year, highly recommend it. Okay. So happy Monday, guys. Um, let's actually talk a little bit about attitude real quick, too. I, what was I listening to? Oh, okay. So I shared a training last week and then Katie actually shared it again in this group today. Okay. There is a training. It's called... I don't remember the name of it, 2023 something, 2023 something on YouTube by a Nick. I always forget her last name. Um, she is a superstar director. She did a training for her team or group um, whenever she did it. And I watched it last week. And guys, if you have not watched it, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. That is the best training I have seen in a very long time. It spoke to me. It lit a fire under my ass. It realized. It made. Me, it helped me realize that I'm the problem for my lack of success in 2022. Okay, 
And it re it made me realize that I have had a bad attitude. I have had a bad attitude. And when people have bad attitudes, you're not able to look inward and realize that you are the problem. You When you have a bad attitude, you push that onto everybody else and you blame everybody around you for your lack thereof. Okay? So, no more bad attitudes. Okay? I'm looking for the positive in every situation. So, even if it's a bad situation, I'm going to find a positive. And... I truly feel that if we all change our attitudes, you are going to see so much growth, so much growth in 2023. So I told you guys in the beginning of this training or video that um, I was lacking um, in my recruiting. And so that is my goal today. I actually, um, Katie, sent me her frontline challenge text and it said if you're up for a challenge it had the video in it and then it said if you're up for a challenge respond back to me and so I responded back and she told me she said I want you to sponsor someone this week so that's what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it is I'm literally just going to share about the opportunity I'm going to share about it blast it everywhere my VIP page my emails I'm gonna text people who I know have been interested in the past I am going to share my story on social media I'm going to talk about the perks of being a consultant and I'm going to put them on repeat this week and I'm gonna get someone to join and it's gonna it's going to have an impact on their life and I can't wait for them to see it. Because you know what? I look at my my very last recruit was, I did not sponsor in December. I sponsored in November, right? Or was it October? I can't, I think it was the end of October that I sponsored. Um, and she was one of my good customers. She was one of my good customers. And she has been on fire with her business. And let me just tell you, she, I never expected her to join. She wasn't someone that I thought would be interested in joining. She wasn't someone, wasn't someone that I thought would put her all into it. And let me tell you, she has completely just hit the ground running, okay? And has blown me away. And she just hit her 70 days. Or, I'm sorry. Yeah, her 70 days. She just hit her 70 days yesterday. And she messages me with all the questions. Good questions, right? Um, and she does all of my challenges that I give her. And when I was reflecting back on my business, I was like, why? Like, why haven't I seen a lot of growth this year like I have in the last two to three years? And I mean, granted, let me just tell you guys, when you guys compare, if you were here before COVID, okay, COVID years were completely different. 20 and 21, those were like very abnormal years. So let me just tell you guys that right off the bat, okay? They were like years on steroids for our business. They truly were, okay? So that growth is not normal growth for this business. And I'm not saying you can't see that growth in other years. I'm just saying that like, that was literally years, two different years on steroids, okay? So I went back before COVID because there was a huge growth that I saw in those two years. But I went back before COVID and I was still seeing huge growth in those years before COVID. But like, why didn't I see that growth in 2022? And I just thought the years before COVID where I saw all that growth, I was working full time as a nurse. So I didn't have as much time at all. But because I didn't have that much time, I was taking advantage of the time that I had and the time that I made and I created for my business. And that was the difference between those years in 2022. 2022, I took my time for granted. I took my time for granted. I wasn't doing all the IPAs. I was picking and choosing which ones I wanted to do 
because I enjoyed them. I wasn't doing all the IPAs even if I didn't want to do them. Part of that was talking about the business. Um, so, reflection. One of the things um, that I did in the beginning when I worked full time, I had a planner. I had a planner and I literally carried my planner everywhere that I went to work, in the car, on road trips, when we traveled, so I knew exactly what I could do. That way, if we were in the airport and about to fly off to wherever, Mexico, I could literally open my planner and I would have everything that I needed to do for my business to still thrive. I would have, okay, text so-and-so, so-and-so, and so-and-so about joining. Okay, follow up with this host, this host, this host. Okay, place these people's orders. Okay, replace this person's warmer. And I, I strayed away and I tried to go digital. And digital worked for a certain amount of time and it still does for certain things. But ultimately, like, the years where I saw the most growth, I was using a planner. So that's why I went back and your girl got herself a planner for this year because I refused to have another year like 2022. And while it was, while it was good in some areas, it was, it wasn't my best and I want to have my best. Okay. So let's go. It is Monday. Monday is literally my favorite day of the week. And that is because it is a brand new week, which means brand new goals, brand new mindset, Brand new everything. You choose what you want your week to look like, okay? And ultimately, we can't choose what exactly happens in that week, but we can choose how we react to it and the attitude that we have towards it, okay? So, cheers to that. I'm going to work for about an hour and then head to the gym. I love you guys, and I'm rooting for you guys, and um, I highly recommend you guys go back and reflect. And once you do... Come back and share with us in this group what you learned once you reflect. Okay? Bye, guys.